welcome along on another mission. Yeah. So I am down south for a couple of days with old Charles, old Charlie, from Dredge NZ. And he's uh, taken me down to a spot that's all private. And uh, yeah, we're going to hopefully uh, bump into some roaring stags. Fingers crossed. So, so we've driven up now, we're right up high, way up in the tops. Don't have to walk up, which has been pretty cool. And he's driving down to the hut now, and he's going to drop off the gear. And they're going to hunt lower, well, down below us. And I'm up here with another chap uh, who doesn't want to be on camera. So the pair of us are going to skirt around the tops and do a bit of glassing and then just hunt our way down into the hut. So, yeah. Fingers crossed, guys, we uh, at least get a meat animal, if not a nice roaring stag. Alrighty, team. I have got a stag and a hind, or two hinds, watching me. And then out to my left, I have another stag and he's roaring. And this other stag just looks like a young one. He hasn't made a sound. But he hasn't moved since I um, seen him and he's staring straight at me. I've let out a couple of roars. The other chap seems quite keen. He's just sat down. <laughs> He's just bedded down, so oh, I'm not entirely sure what to do. He's definitely an eight pointer. He's not a big eight pointer though. Um, seems quite even, but yeah. Four on each side. He's got his tops and his bottoms, but I don't know what to do. Do I leave him and hope for a bigger stag? Oh, dilemmas, eh? Alrighty, guys, they are on the move. So, they've got a wee crest, a wee ridge they're going to crest over in a minute. So as soon as they go over that ridge, I am going to sidle around and see if I can't catch up with them. Oh, that sucks so much. Was tracking them and I don't know if you can see behind me but the fog's lifted and rolled up the valley and it's pretty much enveloped everything and I've lost sight of them and of course as I lost sight of them the hind must have seen me and she started barking but they didn't go anywhere they just kept barking so I don't think she saw me or knew what I was, but... Oh, it looks like it's going to clear up again, so... I might be in luck, but either way, I think I've lost that stag in the, t in the hind and yearling. But... Oh my goodness guys, I can't believe it. I did shoot two, I thought it was one, but I kid you not, there's one there and there's one there. There were two. Oh, I thought the thought one was just kept on getting up. Oh my goodness guys, I'm gonna flip you around. There's the first one. And I kid you not, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pointer. 
That's just a scrubby little 12 pointer, but ah, how crazy is that? And then guys, the other one is down there and he's gone 10 and he's fairly even 10. Small, but fairly even 10. Oh guys, I'm just absolutely buzzing man, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> just can't believe it, and the hut's just over there apparently. Oh dear me, well that's my hunting trip done and dusted I think. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. A 10 and a 12 by accident. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, now we're to get to uh, butchering in there. Getting these heads off. Holy. Well, I am just stoked, guys. Thanks for coming along on this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe too, guys, if you haven't already. Uh, yeah, show your appreciation of these uh, beautiful, beautiful animals. Right. <laughs> I love it. Holy moly, guys, I'm going to lose some gravy tonight. So steep. I didn't realise I was so high when I shot those two stags, but uh, probably about halfway down there. Just tripping and falling in every single hole. Packs heavy as. Just nuts. team back at home base so this is the new hut and this one here is actually the original musterer's hut oh look at those fine looking specimens they're a bit small but i'm happy 10 and a 12. we'll go inside Alrighty, so this is the original old musterer's hut way back in the early 1930s I think since been lined big old fireplace don't think we'll be cranking that up tonight couple of beds there with me for the night cool no doubt I'll be sharing it with a uh, few rats and mice but yeah, adds to the experience doesn't it very cool. Alrighty guys, so we've decided to uh, just pretty much bed down now and just wait for this fog to clear. You can sort of see behind me it's still still quite low. We've got maybe two or three hundred meters in visibility, but we can't see any of the terraces or anything like that. But they are going off this morning. There is just stags everywhere. Lots of, we're pretty sure they're mostly young ones, but yeah. The goal is today is to try and secure a big one. Um, I'm looking for 12 points or bigger with a slightly longer length than the antlers. And uh, Clark's trying to break the 300 there, so <laughs> he's after a big one. So it'll be something special if he comes across that. So we'll just see what happens. Young spiker.
flip me days. That is just, I haven't had a decent look, but there's uh, 12 prominent points and a 13th nubbin, but you can't hang a ring on it, so we're calling it a 12. But big old boy. Um, yeah, teeth are just about all gone and the crow nets are all right down as well, so. Oh man, we're just static. It's just been up and down, up and down all morning. It's like, ah, oh, we got there though. Got me big 12. Woo -hoo. guys we are heading back to the hut now and to give you an idea of the uh, distance we've got to travel yeah we'll hit the track down there we're gonna go all the way down there and the hut's about in line with that very far ridge line we're about 10 or 11 k's wish us luck we'll see you back at the hut Alrighty guys, last night here down on Charlie's uh, station it has been an epic, epic day today. Like I said before, we've done about 25k. Sun is just setting and the colours are just golden down here, it's beautiful. And we got all the way down to and through that, that little chute there, that valley. Miles down, just beautiful. Oh, morning team, and yeah, morning of day three. Pretty much just going to be, oh, I'm, I'm guessing it's just to clean up the hut day this morning. Uh, we're going to be back out to civilization by about lunchtime, I think. I think Clark might go for a hunt this morning. Um, but yeah, Thanks heaps for joining me on this adventure, guys. Um, it's been an absolute epic adventure. I mean, three stags far out. Uh, two, two, two 12s and a, and a 10. So pretty stoked with that, guys. Uh, it's pretty much my personal best with that last one yesterday. So real stoked. It's been an absolute wicked trip. So uh, thanks, Charlie. Uh, it's been absolutely magic. So guys, I'll probably love yous and leave yous here. Um, there's no real point in dragging out this video. Uh, so, till the next one guys, happy hunting.